What if your Samsung displays could be smarter? Oh, we've got 60, 90, 120 hertz displays. But if you guys are like me, once you turn on the adaptive display setting in your phones, kind of just forget about it, right? Well, that is until we're running out of battery and we have to get home somehow. Samsung just unleashed a brand new app to help us not only save battery, but turn that built-in adaptive feature to something that's truly adaptive. And it's done in a super subtle way, making our Samsung devices even smarter. This is the brand new module inside Samsung's very own Good Lock Suite. And it's all about giving you control over your display's behavior per app. That's everything from per app timeouts, brightness controls, refresh rates, and more. Yeah, if you're a Samsung user, this is a must have. Now, if you haven't already, install Good Lock. After which, find and grab the brand new Display Assistant. And heads up, it's so brand new, it might not actually be available in your region yet. So comment down below to let the rest of us know if it is, or even if it isn't. Now let's break it down feature by feature with some real world tips that you can actually use. First up, we've got per app timeouts. Now I know you've been there, you've been reading an article and then all of a sudden, the screen goes dark. Yeah, it's um, very annoying, especially when you have a recipe up and you're trying to cook something. Well, now you can individually select the apps and then set up their own custom screen timeout times. So like for me, I would have the system default set to 30 seconds, but anytime I'm in, I don't know, a reading app, Chrome, or even an airline app, I'm going to have the set to 10 minutes. And as a bonus here, you can also control the auto dim mode for each of these apps as well. Now, if you just wanted something a bit more simple, there's the keep screen on toggle, which you simply enable and then it sits in your quick access notification panel. Then toggle it on and then your phone screen will stay on for 30 minutes, breaking out of Samsung's default max of 10. It's definitely going to be handy. Next up, the brightness limit profile. Here, you can set it from standard to light, which allows your phone's brightness to stay at high levels regardless of the device's temperature. It does mean longer cooldown times, but if you are using your device outdoors, it might be useful. I don't know. Definitely not for me. Now, have you ever noticed how slowly your phones adjust their brightness levels as you step into a bright outdoor space or into a dark room? Here, using Display Assistant, you can actually speed it up making it up to four times faster. Or if you want it, totally retrain it. Hit the reset button and it will totally wipe out your old rhythm, allowing you to start afresh. Definitely interesting. Now the main event, the reason that I installed the app, the standard refresh rate. Yeah, is where we're going to save the most amount of battery. Deciding which apps are going to be limited to the standard 60 Hertz and which ones are not. Now I know what you're thinking. Sure enough, phones already be doing this, using the full hertz whenever it needs to, and then clocking down whenever it doesn't. Well, kind of. It does fluctuate here and there, and it does try to optimize itself, but it's not that great at it. The real question is, do we really need 120 hertz in Chrome, in Facebook, in every single app that we use? Sudoku? So here, you just add whichever apps you want to limit. And then that's it. It suddenly sets it to the default lower setting that it can, and thus allowing us to fully utilize the adaptive capabilities of the screen itself. And this time, we can actually control it. And yeah, anytime you leave the app, it goes back to the full fluid 120 or, or whatever your max is. And finally, we have Screen Curtain. This one you've kind of seen before. Basically, it allows you to have any app active on your phone and then apply a black screen on top. So it's blacked out your screen, but the app's still running in the background. Perfect for music players or video players. However, you can't use it during calls, gaming, or whilst playing YouTube. Yeah. Now again, this is a brand new app, so it could be your region doesn't have access to it just yet. But feel free to comment down below which of the features you're looking most forward to using. And of course, make sure to like and subscribe. See you guys next time.